Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called State Trooper by Bruce Springsteen. And it's really all about these two main licks, actually. The, 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 on our intro, actually, we kind of start, you'll, you'll kind of hear this in the background, we've got open A twice, and then third foot on the A, and then open A. So it's kind of an A, A, C, A, 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 C, A, 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 C, A. And if you wanted to back that up a little bit and make it a little bit thicker, you could kind of work it around an A5 power chord, kind of the open A and the D string on the second fret. And you could almost work it as kind of a down up idea, kind of a down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. And you may want to take the flat of the right hand and kind of lay it on top of the saddle and make that a little muted. And that could be a very, very cool thing. So a lot of the tune actually is kind of working around that, that A lick or an A minor lick. Now, if you wanted to kind of back that up with a chord, though, I think you could use an A minor chord. And normally you do this first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the G second fret. You strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really sad. Now, around A minors in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the first finger, make that an A sus2, or you could add in the pinky on the B third, make that an A suspended chord, and kind of say some stuff around that. Or you could lift off the third finger and make it an A minor 7, or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for an A minor 7, and kind of work it around that way. And again, there's a couple strumming options you may want to think about if you just want to work the chord. You could do kind of an A down count on each chord. You maybe want to kind of try and get the pinky to add in that lick. Or you could use a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So, two A minor, just try that a lot. You know, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Or you may try a variation of that. chorus. We kind of start off with that A lick, and we end up kind of, if you thought of two licks as being one of the down, down, up, up, down, does that probably help? Kind of one, two, three, four, A, one, two, three, four, A, one, two, three, four, A, one, two, three, four. And then you kind of hear a new lick come in, where you play the open D twice, and then third on the A, and then open A. So it's kind of a D, D, C, A, D, D, C, A, D, D, C, A, D, D, C, A. And you can kind of work that around a D5 power chord by doing first finger on the G second fret and kind of working just the D and the G strings together. Might be a cool way to kind of work that, kind of the open D. And I'm still kind of doing down ups, but I'm kind of starting out D and G strings. And then when I go to that three on the A, I'm kind of doing my down strum over the A, D, and G, and then the up back to the open A. So D, D, C, A, D, D, C, A, D, D, C, A, D, D, C, A. Or if you wanted to back that up with a chord, you can start on a D major chord. And normally you do this first finger on the G second, second finger on the high E second, third finger on the B third. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and sounds really happy. But randomly, I think that's kind of open because of the way that it's kind of work, but I, I was kind of leaning on the D major sound. Or you could lift off the second finger for a D suspended second, or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for a D suspended chord and kind of say some stuff around the D. Could be yeah, kind of cool too. Or you may even dig on a D7 chord, where you could do first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the G second, third finger on the high E second, and kind of work in the top four strings for the D7. Or you could lift off the third finger, make that a D7 sus2. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for a D7 sus and kind of say some stuff around that chord. So through that main verse chorus, actually, we've got kind of the A minor, A minor, A minor, A minor, D, A minor. Or you can kind of dig on the strumming idea. And then you kind of 
hear an extra A minor actually at the very, very end before we go into our chorus, which is that same form. And then we've got an A minor. However you're feeling, it kind of breaks. And that first break after the first chorus, you get kind of A minor, A minor, A minor. You go to the D, and then that A minor, before we start into our next verse. Now one other thing I'd think about adding to the song with is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, up the down, down, up, up, down, up, you throw the bass or the chord. So on the A minor, you have the A for the bass, and on the D, you have the D for the bass. Our verse chorus that way, you have the A minor, A minor, or you can make it a bit bass up, down, up, up, down, it could be cool. Too. And then we got our D, D bass down, up, down, up, A minor, A minor. And from that verse, we go into our chorus, so it's that same form, A minor. weird little variation in the last chorus you got the A minor, A minor, D, and then right back to A minor, and then from there then we kind of go into kind of our, our main verse chorus form again, A minor, A minor, Strum through and kind of work some of the licks from State Trooper by Bruce Springsteen. So, good luck. <laughs> 